What's up you guys? So I'm gonna be jumping into today's video a couple times So keep an eye out for me because I'll be kind of elaborating and letting you guys know the little inside scoop as we go through the video The Fisher Inn was actually the same place that we stayed at last year when we came down for the same tournament We oh loved God, it so God. much that we decided to book the same exact room again <laughs> And it was so nice because we just walked out to the like our private beach What's going on YouTube? Erica Lynn here. Welcome back to another video. Berg and I are in beautiful Isla Mirada, Florida. We drove down to the Keys a couple days ago and we have some awesome days fishing planned for you guys. We're going to be doing some pre-fishing today so y'all are coming with us as we get some bait. We're going to scope out some spots, hopefully figure out where the fish are because tomorrow is game day, tournament day. We're going to be starting bright and early and fishing all day for sailfish. It's gonna be a numbers game, so we're gonna be trying to catch as many sailfish as we can. If you haven't already seen this video from last year, we got third place, so let's see how we do. It is gonna be a little windy one, but it's freaking gorgeous out here, so you know it's gonna be a good day. Stay tuned. Yeah, last year we ended up getting third place with about five sailfish, so we we're hoping to see a bunch more sails this trip. We had been hearing great reports of people catching a bunch of other sails, um, earlier in the week, so we were thinking we were going to be going into a ton of fish. Um, little did we know that it was actually going to be pretty rough conditions for the couple days, and all the sailfish were blown out. So, really good friend, Captain Benny Spaulding. He has a freaking legacy down there in Isla Mirada. Everybody knows him, so it's always a really good time when we're back on Benny's boat. You're a trooper. <laughs> you like, keep showing up. <laughs> Cutting up bait, getting ready to drop those down for some ballyhoo. So Amber was with us as our other lady angler, um, actually is Benny's daughter. So it was really awesome having her with the crew uh, just to have another set of hands on the boat. We're basically on our way back at this point. We're in about 30 feet of water and we decided to stop one last time. We see some birds and all of a sudden we see, visually see these sailfish swimming around. So it was a huge adrenaline rush at that point for sure. at this point that there's actually a tag on him right in the middle Ryan's about to grab
We did end up reporting that sailfish in and about a week later we got stats back on it. So that same sailfish was actually caught over a year earlier, um, tag day 11-30-2021, and we caught him about the middle of February. So over a year later, um, was actually also caught by a lady angler, so that's awesome. Um, but they were on boat Exaggerator, uh, using rod and reel. And he was about 40 pounds at the time, also caught in about the Key Largo area. Um, we were in Isla Mirada, which is only about 30 minutes from one another. So unfortunately, we didn't end up seeing where that sailfish went uh, when he like went and came back. Um, but it was really interesting to see that in this general same time frame, the fish was basically in the same spot that it was last year. So awesome info about that sailfish that Brooke just got. my first sailfish ever boated last tournament since we caught so many during tournament day we couldn't bring any of them on the boat for a picture so that was my first sailfish good picture job. very exciting hey good, good job. job thank you yes yes <laughs> good job now we go home now we go home Job, ladies. Holy shit, did we find it for bail? Yes. Oh my god. We worked for it. That dude gotta work for it. So that was a long day. We were exhausted, but we had to regroup, head back to the room, change because we had the captain's meeting that night. Yeah. Lines in at 8 o'clock. Let's go over the trophies. First, second, and third place team. Largest dolphin, tuna, and kingfish. Grand champion egg. Hunter, you are a good luck charm. <laughs> Ryan, are we ready? We're gonna win this? We're gonna go give it out.
That counts as like an outstanding cash, right? Yeah. No? Get that non non-fish that we needed right off, Dan. We don't need you. You know, you know what you left. Danny, Danny, three o'clock. Three o'clock, brother. As soon as I heard that that was a tuna, I was instantly like, oh my gosh, get it in the boat! Because <laughs> I knew that was uh, a category we could win. Alex! Look at you! Calabonga! I got a whale with a big fish. Yeah. I got a, I got a skin, I got a big neck. If you want a picture with it, you should take it now. Yeah. Just lit up. <laughs> what? I'll take it now. Oh, that blood all over the damn boat. Damn it, sir! Who did that? Who did that? <laughs> And tuna is my favorite fish to eat, so we made that into sashimi over the next couple of days. It definitely got put to good use in my belly. <laughs> we caught it up, and we were thinking that they were tuna at first, but they ended up just being a bunch of bonita. <laughs> This women's sail fishing tournament had about 25 boats, 95 plus anglers, and we ended up finding out that only 15 sailfish were caught between all of those anglers and all of those boats. Um, I think first place ended up only having like four or three. <laughs> so it was a grind for everybody. We didn't end up seeing any other sailfish. Um, we had a couple other bonita. We're heading back into the docks feeling pretty discouraged <laughs> compared to last year's tournament uh, where we had caught five sails. So we didn't really think we we're gonna be going in with anything. And I had heard from the guys that other tunas were getting reported in. So in my head, my tuna was on the smaller side, so I really didn't think we are gonna end up pulling out any, uh, any wins. So we all met back up for the weigh-in and for the award ceremony, and I had like this weird feeling, cause the guys were acting weird about like the tuna. So I was like, what's the chances that like, I don't know, let me just turn the camera on just, just in case. So come to find out that nobody caught a mahi at all, nobody caught a kingfish, and I was the only one to catch a tuna that entire day. You got it, you got it, you got it. Good job. You got an honor. Oh. I want to show me. You got me. Got you. Got me. Again. Again. Yeah, that's exactly again. Right I got you again. You're the feather too. We didn't look, we didn't get shit. The same tournament last year, Benny ended up tricking us into thing that we didn't place at all based off of how many sailfish we caught. And he punked us that, that time and he punked me again. <laughs> all right, YouTube, so let's get wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Captain Benny is available for charters in the Isla Mirada area at a Whale Harbor. So if you guys are ever visiting in the area, definitely hit him up and see if he's available to take you guys offshore. Um, amazing captain and really good friend. So again, thanks Benny for taking us out and having a great another great tournament. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Morning. <laughs>